Hello guys, today I'd like to show you a simple trick to find out if your T-Con has a problem. Here we can see that a certain shade of black has this greenish look. So sometimes when we have some weird colors, a solarized picture or something like this, we are not sure if it's a problem on the T-Con or on the mainboard. The first relatively easy test we can do is to measure the voltages coming out from the TCON board that are named something like uh, VGMA or similar and they are numbered. The voltages should increase or decrease from one number to the next in a continuous way. Our first voltage here for example is a little above 15 volt. Then the next decreases and this should continue decreasing for the other voltages too. Here we have 10.15, 9.42 and here it goes up again and this indicates a problem on the TCON. These two output voltages here are not in the correct sequence. I got three other TCON boards here to show you how these test points can look like. Unfortunately you don't have them on all TCON boards. On this board for example they are numbered from VGMA1 to VGMA18. On this board here there are even more, they go up to VGMA22. And on the last one, where are they? Are they here to the left? So here is our board again and very likely the cause for this for these wrong output voltage levels is the gamma chip we see here. In this case it's the AS19. We will remove it and a hot air station is best suited for this. I would actually grab it from above but my hand and tweezers don't really fit under the microscope so here I'm holding it from the side. Unfortunately we see here that there's a thermal pad underneath the chip which makes it soldering it back onto the board a little more difficult. In the next step we will clean the solder pads with some solder wick. And the solder pad in the middle dissipates heat really well so there's no chance I can do this with a little soldering iron. This is best preheated on a hot plate. So we clean all of the solder pads including the one in the middle if possible. Next I'll put some solder paste on the big solder pad and we also tin one pin and this is the point where we will fix the chip first. Then carefully place the chip in the correct position and solder that one pin we tint. Now we heat the chip with hot air 
and by the way the bot is on a hot plate heated to about uh, 100 degrees celsius pressing down the chip while heating it will we will feel when it eventually descends onto the board And then by slightly pushing it sidewards, we can confirm that the underside is now solid. It doesn't move anymore. For the next step we will need some flux and then just solder all the pins by pulling the tip of the soldering iron over the pins. If there are bridges between the pins, you may need to add flux several times and repeat this uh, process. Then after that is done, inspect all the solder joints with a magnifying glass or a microscope. Make sure there are no shorts between the pins and all pins are correctly soldered onto the board. Then we reassemble the board and measure again our output voltages. So everything is in order now, all the voltages are in the sequence just the way it should be and the greenish tint has also disappeared. Yeah that was it guys, uh, thanks for watching and I hope it helps you with your repairs. Have a good day!